Good morning, this is Sam from ONGC Systems. Today we're going to be looking at your OneDrive personal account, uh, setting it up and syncing a few files. So if you just want to come down to your start menu, search for OneDrive, you'll notice I'll have two OneDrives here. We have OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. OneDrive for Business is installed when you install Office 365, but OneDrive will be default with any Windows 8 or up operating system. So we'll open OneDrive application and uh, we'll have a sign in option here. Once we go ahead and sign in, now I've already created an account for this tutorial, uh, but if you haven't created an account or you haven't signed up with a uh, normal email address before to a Microsoft account, you can go ahead and do this down here. But I'm going to put in my user credentials that I've already created. And my password. Okay, so uh, once we sign in, we'll get an option here to change the install location. So we'd only recommend this if you have a very small C drive or if you're using an SSD and there's limited space available. Um, for most cases, your C drive installation will be fine and in this case it will be for us. So we're just going to hit next. As you can see, it's going to try and find the files I've already created on my OneDrive. And you can see I've already got a OneDrive account here, so I've already created that documents folder. If you don't have anything there, that's not a worry. Hit next. And at the end here, it'll give us a option to open our OneDrive folder, and this will most likely open a link for a tutorial as well. But as you can see, we're already in the middle of a tutorial, so we're going to close that window. Okay, so that's your OneDrive signed in on your computer. So if you open up your Explorer, you come over here and you'll see you'll have OneDrive in the corner here. And it's already sunk both of my documents I have here, but just for the tutorial's sake, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it temp. And we're going to create a new text document in here. And we'll call it test. Alright, so now that we've created a new document and we've placed it in our OneDrive, we can go and check if it's synced or we can activate uh, access this from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. So if you now want to go to OneDrive, live.com, you will be able to sign in. I'll show you this in a minute. You have the sign in option up the top right hand corner there. And as you can see, it's already remembered my account. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix that up because that's actually wrong. And we hit next. It'll bring us to our actual sign in page here. I recommend that you uh, favorite this page because you'll most likely be there again. Okay, so just put in your credentials. Stop right there. And as you can see, it's just logged us in here. So if you come down to our temp document there, and you can see our newly saved test file. And that will allow us to open it in OneDrive and uh, see the text document. Of course, I haven't written anything in the text document, so there's nothing there. All right, so that's just a quick tutorial on how to access your OneDrive and sign in on uh, your local computer. If you have any other issues, don't forget to call us on 0755 94 Thanks.